Hey guys, welcome back to my AC Milan career mode. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support on the first two episodes. It's gone down really well. Everyone seems to be enjoying the more chilled, relaxed approach I'm taking and also longer videos. Now today, as you're looking at this squad, I, I feel comfortable with this squad. I feel like I can at least get to January and then decide if I need to bring in any other players. But after reading your comments and also if we take a look at my... Um, my budget, I lost my words there, you'll see that I do have a lot of money and it. it kind of feels like I'm not using this opportunity. So I, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here guys. Basically in this episode we're finishing off the window so I need to make decisions and I need to make them now. But the way I'm looking at it is we all of a sudden had a lot of money. I, don't, I still to this day don't know what happened. Some people think it is the season ticket prices, things like that. But regardless we've pretty much achieved one of the objectives that I've been set very very close to it and I'm thinking is that a good idea to just ruin by spending loads of money so if I go to financial you'll see here we've almost hit that 100% already and it's a medium priority so it's not like it's something I absolutely have to do but it's kind of cool that I've already achieved that pretty much before the transfer window has even ended. So I'm thinking maybe I do just go with my gut instinct on this. That I don't need to sign any more players because we've got a very strong squad. Or do I go with my head and think, well actually no, it's going to be a really tough season. I'm going to need more players. Do I spend some of that money? It's, it's really, really tough. So for now, let's just get into some training. We've got three days left in game to, to really decide but let's see if Locatelli I think it was Kessie I've got in there as well let's see if they can do well here I haven't been too lucky with training I don't think we've had a single A yet which is uh, pretty shocking to be honest so we got a C and a D with Locatelli C and B with Kessie and a C with Andre Silva he's very very close to 79 which is good to see now if I remember correctly we've got everyone on the shortlist haven't we yeah so I've got no players left that I'm currently looking at so let's go through the squad together I'm going to imagine that you guys are there right now talking to me because I, I can imagine what people are going to say. If you look at my bench, where do I improve? I think some people would say maybe a better centre-back. This Gomez guy, I mean, let's see how old he is. He's 23, 77 rated. I mean, his stats are okay. His work rates are brilliant. He's six foot one. It's all looking pretty good, isn't it? But is he going to be you know, enough. Is he going to be good enough to be our main backup centre-back? If Romagnoli or Masaccio get injured, is he good enough to step in? Arguably not. We've then got De Shiglio, he's fine. Locatelli, Sanchez on loan. Uh, Niang, we've got Nerez, Silva. I'm looking at that and thinking that's more than good enough. We don't need to be spending money there. But then we get to the reserves. We've got a lot of them. I could definitely do with maybe clearing a couple out and then making that objective 100%. We're on 92% right now. Oh my god, Alfie is he's going loopy. Behind. I don't know if you can hear him. He's on a chair just behind my desk and he's going crazy, honestly. He's been asleep all day and now he starts being annoying and noisy when I'm recording. Um, don't forget, a couple of these players are actually on loan, like Ocampos, uh, Fernandez. We've got players that are starting to get on a little bit. Paletta is... 30? Is he 30? Yep, yeah, we've got uh, Montalivo's 31. So there is some issues here that maybe I need to deal with now or at least in January. So that centre-back idea. Do I really think I need to be bringing in another centre-back? I've gone through all of the top leagues and I've come down to four separate choices here. We have D uh, Diop, we have Saar, Hernandez and Lenglet. And funnily enough, I think they're all French, aren't they? They are. They're, they're all French. That is actually crazy. I didn't do that on purpose. France have some incredibly young, talented players. And they really... They do have some of my favourite players as well. So I've used pretty much all of these players throughout FIFA 17. And I like them all. And they're all really, you know, a potential for this team. They really are. Really good centre-back choice. Whether or not they're in the first team or back up, they will still be really handy to have. Oh, Alfie, stop making so much noise, dude. I'm recording. Do you mind? Honestly, I hope you can't hear him, but I can. It's really annoying. So Diop, very, very good player. Exciting prospect. Six foot four, very strong. Bit murder sacker like but with more pace. That's how I see him. He's just a brick wall. We've then got Malang Saar, who reminds me of Umtiti a little bit. You know, a bit shorter, a bit more mobile. Left-footed, plays on that left side of defence. We then got the same really with Lucas Hernandez. He's not physically huge, but he's 
He's mobile, he's agile, and he's a bit of a sweeper. I, f I find that he's really good at just moving across the defense. And then we've got Lenglet, who I would say is the guy I know least about in these four. But he would be a nice signing. You know, we could go back to Sevilla. We've already signed in Zonzi. Maybe we go for a player like Lenglet. So uh, I'm not going to have time to fully scout these guys. I'm just going to have to go in with an offer. And I'm going to break a rule of mine. I don't like to inquire. But in situations like this, I think I'm going to have to. I need to get a rough estimate on how much they are looking for. And then maybe I go in halving it. Maybe I go in and say, I'll give you two thirds of that. I don't know yet. But um, I can't make an offer if I have no idea of their value. And unfortunately, I've left it a little bit too late. Alfie, don't you dare, mate. I'm recording. I'm watching you. <laughs> I have to make sure that I've inquired to get close to that 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 valuation they're going to have. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a chance with just a couple of a couple of hours left to go in the transfer window potentially, which is uh, really not too good. We get a transfer off here for Romagnoli. What are, what are the odds of that? West Ham, seventeen and a half million euros. No, we're not going to be going ahead and selling Romagnoli. This guy is definitely, without a doubt, going to be the first centre back next to Masaccio. <laughs> Alfie, I swear, dude. Do you mind? <laughs> he never barks during my video. Why today? Little shit. So yeah, Romagnoli, Masaccio, they are definitely staying. Now we... Oh, they've recently signed Lenglet. So that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, that's now four targets down to three. And we're going into deadline day. Ten hours left to go. Oh my god, look at some of these deals. Urzu has gone to Barcelona. Socrates has gone to Arsenal. And Martinez has gone to Barcelona. That's pretty crazy. And now we have three emails. Diop is going to be 12 and a half. Uh, Malang Sar recently joined. Shit, that's not good. Hernandez, 11. So, wow, that's that's interesting. So we've gone from four targets to two. And they're both similarly priced. It's not going to be too much of a difference. We just need to pick which one is best for us. And then decide whether or not to actually make a formal offer. So I will remove Saar for now. We're not going to be able to sign him. And the same with Lenglet. It might be that I wait until January, to be honest, because I like those two guys. But then again, these two options are really good as well. So if we can compare them both, obviously we can't actually see their stats. But when they've got a tick next to a certain stat, that means they're, they're pretty good at that certain thing. So, you know, for... Uh, Diop, his jumping in strength is very good. Hernandez, it's just his jumping. Anything else? Slide tackling. Uh, Lucas Hernandez has slide tackling. Um, yeah, you can see the difference there, can't you? Just the weight. I mean, 200 pounds. He's a massive, massive guy, this Diop guy. Six foot four. He's got the exact same weak foot, same skill moves. I don't like his work rates as much as I like Lucas Hernandez, but... That doesn't matter too much. You know, you can adjust their positioning. You can make them go forward, stay back, whatever you want. So I'm thinking for the sake of what I'm looking for, I think they both fit pretty well, but I've got a feeling that Diop would be the better choice. I think he's going to be a little bit more money, though. I'm going to make an offer for both, and let's just see what happens. It might be that I'm not going for either of them. I'm, this is like the most undecided I've been with a signing in a long, long time. So I think I'll go in pretty strong here. I'll go in with 10 million. So they wanted 12 and a half. 10 million is the offer I'm going to make. Lucas Hernandez, 11 million. I might be able to get away with eight and a half. Something like that. That wouldn't be too much. Let's go ahead and make the offer. So if I can get Hernandez for 8.5, that really is bargain of the century. But then again, even getting Diop for 10 million, it's also a very good deal. So... Either way, guys, I think I'm going to be pleased with the result here. You can see we've been busy in the window. We've sold 57 million pounds worth, euros, sorry. And uh, that's a profit of 24 after spending money, of course. And look at that. So they want the 11 million for Hernandez, but Toulouse have accepted 10. So I think that kind of makes the decision for me. I've already used Hernandez in my Atletico career mode. Let's go with someone new. I've used Diop in streams. I've used him in my Stoke Alona career mode that I was doing. Um, so let's try and get him. I think he would be a good choice. We'll go with a five-year contract just because why not? And I'm going to have to go with squad rotation player first because realistically that's what he's going to be at the start. And then maybe if he declines it, we'll, we'll bump it up and maybe we can offer him... Um, well, I guess it's an important first team player. I guess he kind of is. It, it depends on how many games we're going to be playing and 
whether I'm going to chop and change the centre-backs. But looks like he's happy with squad rotational players. So we're going to make that our final signing of the transfer window. We have another centre-back coming in. I just realised I could have offered Paletta in that deal, couldn't I? I didn't really think about doing a player plus cash. I just, I kind of went with it, didn't I? So we, we have, we have quite a few centre-backs. We've got Eli is that. We've got Paletta, Diop. We've even got players that maybe could even fill in at centre-back if we absolutely needed them to, like Montalivo, but not really, I guess. And then we've got Gomez, Romagnoli and Musaccio. So we'll take Gomez off the bench and we'll have Diop there instead. I think with the remaining eight hours I think we've got left on the transfer window, let's see if we can sell one of these three centre-backs. Hopefully it will be Eli or Ellie or Paletta. I think either of those would be good, good decisions. We'll soon find out though. We might not get any offers and it won't have been a very successful transfer in that regard because I've just spent the money when I could have got it much cheaper. And look at this, Nangolan's gone to Bayern. Oh my, him and Vidal. And Thiago, oh, that's disgusting. That is actually filthy. I cannot believe he's moved that for 51 million euros as well. That's not even that much, let's be honest. That's a really good deal for Bayern. Their midfield is crazy. So anyway, five hours remaining. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting any offers coming in, which is a bit of a shame. Wolfsburg confirmed Benzema talks. I mean, come on, Wolfsburg barely survived in the Bundesliga last season. Why would they even try and get Benzema, a top player like him? Career mode is broken, man. But yeah, guys, I don't think we're going to get any offers for any of our centre-backs. It's a bit of a shame, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. We've got so much money. I don't know why I was getting a bit upset over it. It doesn't matter in the long scheme of things. We've still got time to complete that objective, you know, to earn 100 million uh, profit. That will just happen. It just will. Now, the manager rating is still 84. It looks like we can get into some training before our next game. And Andre Silva has gone up to 79. We've got a few players out on international duty, so we'll have to change this up. I'm thinking maybe we get Nerez in there. Let's do his passing. Do I do long pass and vision, or do I do short pass and vision? I think I'll do a short pass. A lot of what I do is kind of one-twos and getting him, getting him in behind the defense. So we'll do that, and maybe I'll increase his shooting as well. Don't think that's a bad shout. Maybe chance creation. Let's go with that one. And then maybe a midfielder. Let's try and get a nice balanced feel to the training here. We could go with Maori. He is in my plans. But then again, we could go with a centre-back and get Diop or Romagnoli growing. Yeah, let's do that. Romagnoli, I want him to hit 80 as soon as possible. So let's improve his one-on-two defending. It'll take a little while, but those are the stats you need in your defence. So let's go ahead and do it and hope for a really good start here. Do we get an A? No, we don't. Look at that. Locatelli, an F and a D. That is pretty shocking, isn't it? But anyway, what is our next game? Let's have a look at the month ahead. So we have Udinese coming up at first. We then got Sampdoria, Lazio and Fiorentina. So let's go ahead and get to the Udinese game. Right, okay. Here we go, guys. Yet another game. I've started really well in this series and that's why I've gone with a very similar team. Why change it? If it's not broken, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So the only changes I have made is Locatelli is coming in into the cent central defensive midfield position. And also Andre Silva is going to play up front today. And I believe he's taken the number nine shirt, has he not? So I might have to change that. That's a very nice team. They've got some great players in the Udinese squad. But um, also I've changed uh, number six and number three because, of course, those are retired numbers at AC Milan. So thank you to everyone reminding me of that. I completely didn't know about number three. I knew about number six, or was it the other way? It might be the other way around, actually, sorry. I knew that they retired one of their defensive numbers. I didn't know it was two. So that's done. They are no longer being occupied. And uh, let's see how we get on in this game. Here's Delefeo straight away onto that left wing here for Rodriguez. Try and get a cross in, maybe. It's not bad. That's been put behind for a corner. What? I was sure that came off one of their defenders. What? That was a terrible header. Locatelli, very poor. Here we go down this left side again. I have been very, very successful in the last few games running down the wings. This 4-3-3 formation certainly helps that. And that's a penalty. Surely that's a penalty. Hang on. No, come on. What is that? Or at least a free kick. I'm not sure if it was in the box or not, but I was definitely taken out there. 
And now, they've got a chance to score. If they score now, no way. Oh, Romagnoli, what a tackle that was. Or what a block, I should say. That was probably on target. Maybe Donnarumma was beaten, I don't know. And we would have been 1-0 down after making such a good start. And look at this defending. So poor. Is he going to get the cross in? Oh, what a pass that is. I need to win this ball, get another tackle in. No. Thankfully, Donnarumma's caught that one. Here's Musaccio. Let's build it up from the defence. That was an awkward bounce, but I've still got it. Over here now to Suso. Over the top for Florenzi. It's a good run. Play it back into the box. Oh, what a ball that is for Suso. No, Danilo, he just tackled me. Oh, man, we're playing some good stuff, though. Just a couple of minutes until half time now, guys. Can I get one more chance out of it? Here's Locatelli. We'll try and get that onto the right wing. Oh, the pass just got blocked. Oh, well. It's been a good first half. I feel like I should be winning this game, but... What can I say? It's been good. We just need to do more of the same in the second half and just, just score. It's as simple as that. Ah, oh, it's a good tackle. Bonaventura has done well. Now Delafeo could be through. Going to use that pace. Lots of heavy touches. Oh, wow. Way to destroy it, Matt. That was such a bad... I mean, I just said heavy touches, but not that heavy. Jeez, man. Let's try the other side. Suso, that's a good ball. I should be able to keep that in. Get a cross in, maybe. Oh, it's just been ran out of play. I swear, this second half is not going to plan right now. Okay, this is more like it. If the referee could get out of the way, that'd be great. Let's see if we can get a chance. Let's get a cross in with Rodriguez. It's been deflected. I think the keeper's going to grab it. 71 minutes in. I think I'm going to make some changes, guys. Something isn't quite right. I don't know what it is. Maybe Andre Silva's just being shut out a little bit. I'm actually going to try something different. Let's put Niang up front. He's quick. He's strong. Let's just see how that how that goes down, how that can help me. I think I'm going to bring on... I don't want to bring on Nzonzi. I'll bring on Sanchez. I don't know why it wouldn't let me pick him in the quick selection thing. Do I need to change anything else? Maybe I do bring on someone like Nerez. Yeah, let's give him a go on that right side. Suso hasn't been too involved today. Maybe bringing Nerez on will make a difference. The subs haven't even come on yet, but I might have one last chance. Delefeo. Oh, lovely dribbling. Try and get that cross in. It's good. Andre Silva was there, but that is going to go out for a corner. The subs will come on now, which is a good thing. Niang is up front. Sanchez is in there as well, of course. It's a good cross. It's not bad at all. Masaccio won the header, but it was a good save. Very good save. Just don't blow it now. Don't bottle it and concede. That would be shocking. There we go. That's the end of the game. So, unfortunately, not quite the performance I was looking for, guys. The first half was much, much better than the second. I felt like I probably could have been winning 2-0, something like that. Second half wasn't awful, but it, it wasn't great. It really wasn't. So we've made a really good start to the career mode. Today is a little minor slip-up. We'll be back into it next time, I'm sure. I just saw the stats. I had 60% of the ball. I have more shots. You know, it, it wasn't actually too bad. So I can take some positives from that. But that leaves us in sixth place. Three games, two wins, one draw. It's not too bad, to be honest. And of course, top of the league is Juventus. Seven goals they've scored. We've scored two. That can't be right. We've only scored two in the league. I know we scored quite a few against Juventus, didn't we, in the cup game. But I guess that's only two goals in the league. So that's what we need to focus on in the next few episodes, just making sure I'm scoring goals. It feels like I haven't had a problem, but clearly... I have, based on that evidence, but that's going to bring this video to an end. I know it's only the one game today, but the transfer window took up quite a lot of time. And I'm happy, I'm satisfied with the squad. I thought Diop was a good addition to the squad. We'll make back the money, no problem. We will still, we'll, we'll still complete that objective, I'm pretty sure of it. But thank you so much for watching episode 3, guys. We've had so much support. Please don't stop. Hit the like button if you're enjoying this series. Make sure you leave a comment as well. Follow me on Twitter. And I will see you in the next episode very soon.